this well i'm scanning a lot of fish down here the problem is the dam's not releasing a whole lot of water right now it's kind of like a lake so i'm gonna come up a little bit closer and if i can see which lock is letting some water out i might come up here a little bit closer this spot back here i fished previously and uh it's this little hump down in the water a little ditch and it's usually held a little bit of fish i thought when i pulled up i saw the water moving but i must have been wrong i'm skinning an awful lot of fish over here so i'm gonna put one in the front of the boat one in the back and i have a few bluegill in the meantime i'm gonna be casting out seeing if i get lucky enough you know something now these were just caught yesterday there's one rod I'm gonna put the other one out and I'll get with you guys when something happens looks like we're on something unless if we're going into shallower water I don't know if we snagged it. We're on. No, we're on. Oh boy. Yeah. Got one on. He doesn't feel too massive. But it's a fish nevertheless. Oh yeah, not a, not a bad little blue. There we go. Oh, now he's fighting. Well, heck yeah. That took no time. And that was what we wanted. Okay. Nothing massive. But he's a fun eater. Also brought my old work shirt with to lay the catfish down on so I don't mess up my pretty boat. Next boat I get is not gonna have carpet on it, believe me. Not a terrible size catfish. Pretty fat too, pretty healthy. Good size guy. We're not keeping them today though. All right. See ya. Good looking fish, man. Awesome. All right, let's get another one thrown in there. All right, let's cut another piece and get it down there. I can't remember if that was a headpiece or not, though. We're on right now, I think. Let's see if he's still hitting this thing. Yep. Ooh, okay. Finally, with my new reel. all wrapped up in this. So I'm extremely confused on how to net this guy. Oh, I did not want to lose that rod. Oh. Smaller one than the last guy I got. I don't even know how I hooked this guy to be honest. Look at him. Another bad looking blue. Besides, he's getting slime all over my boat. But that's gonna happen when you're catfishing. Later, buddy. That was on a body piece. Man, this is such a mess. Alright, so 
literally 10 minutes later, I got that mess untangled. So, good news is that was on a body piece. I was hoping they just weren't, but, oh, we got another one right here. Oh, wow, he's peeling drag. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that might have been a gar. I don't even know if he's still on it. Yeah, that was a gar. Dang. Oh, bait's still on there. Wow. I believe that was a gar. Well, that was exciting. All right, it's 8.17. I'm gonna give it till 8.27, might as well say 8.30. If nothing happens, we're gonna move down to the end over here. There's a pretty deep hole. I'm gonna go ahead and drift over that hole. Uh, I saw a bunch of fish there earlier. So, just keeping you guys updated. We got one on again. Oh, we're dragging bottom. I think that's one on now. Yep. Oh, oh man. It's pulling fairly good. On the body piece again. There's a boil. He's pulling probably the best out of all of them. Okay. Oh boy, there we go, man. Yeah, he's definitely the biggest one so far today. Yeah, he left me that piece. I don't know if this is just a, this is a big channel. It is. I knew it was fighting differently. a bad sized channel so three times that I've caught and fished so far I've been moving and uh, just making myself troll around so here he is right here now I have the wide angle on the go oh my god that freaked me out I don't know why it's like I knew he was there um, so I know in some other states some of the channels get fairly big. I'm sure they do down here too, but really, man, I just dominantly catch blue, sometimes the occasional flathead when I got live bait out. Yeah, he's not a bad channel. Not by my standards, at least. All right, see ya. Flipperoo there, okay. And lucky for us, he left the bait too. All right, well, that's number three. Two blues, one channel. I'm having fun. I came out here to catch some catfish. That's what we're doing. So, all right, I'll get back with you guys when something else happens. Oh, we're on. Wow, I'm out here trying to get B-roll. This rod's getting slapped. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh wow, he's fighting pretty good so far. Let's hope he keeps this thing up. Oh man, he's pulling good. Yes, baby. Oh, that's a good size blue. Biggest one of the day so far. No doubt. Okay, before I do this, I gotta move my multi thousand dollar camera out of the way. Okay. He's not a bad size. Okay. This guy's a beautiful color, too. Tell you what, he's not a bad size little blue. Just a nice fatty, fun size fish. Nothing huge. Put a big 
pulling the rod. Now he did use our last bit of bait. So, actually, there's one other piece up here I'm going to use. I don't know why I said the last piece. All right, I'm going to go ahead and line this up and uh, we'll get back to fishing. I'll give it to you guys when something else happens. All right, guys, there's a couple marks below the boat. I'm gonna drift for about another two minutes and uh, nothing happens. I'm gonna reel up and we're gonna roll down to the end of this little dike here and uh, just drift over this deep hole. And there seems to be a handful of fish here. I mean, I gotta at least drift down it. We're in 28 feet right now. And it starts getting a whole lot deeper so I don't have to worry too much about getting snagged up. It's kind of a quick little drift though. So, alright, I'm hoping we get into something fast, hopefully I'll be with you guys soon. Got one on right now. Wow, geez. I knew it was going to be a matter of time. Oh, it feels like a good one too. I didn't even see it, I just heard the rod getting dumped into the water. I knew this was going to be a good spot. I literally was here for... Come on now, baby. Two minutes? I knew it. Another good size, fun size blue. Those guys have not been half bad. Uh, just fun to catch, man. Probably pretty good size eaters, and they're all fairly healthy. I haven't, I know they haven't been monsters, but they're not like bony skinny either. Especially my first time out catfishing this year. So this is number five. That'd be four blues and one channel, all in a mix of about an hour, hour and 15. That's not bad, man. Can't wait till my boys are old enough to take them out here and do some fishing with me. Yeah, not a bad cat. Bad size little blue. All right, let's throw them back, see if we can get another one. All right, cool, cool. You left me this bait too. How good it is, man, this thing is beat. This ledge over here, it drops off really quick, like, not even five feet out from that ledge it drops down to about 20 feet we're in 30 foot of water right now i always like drifting ledges so all right we'll get back with you guys soon hopefully all right guys well everything kind of slowed up here we uh we got the one fish uh at the beginning of the drift over here and right after that one fish was caught i was getting hits on every rod nothing took it down though hopefully they didn't just take the bait <laughs> could have very well been what happened but um, I would say I haven't really seen much on the depth finder. So we're going to slowly turn the boat around right now. I'm going to reel up, see how my baits look. If they look okay, I'm going to keep them. I got one fish left that I can cut up here. So I've caught five already. That's not too bad. It's 930. I think by 1030, the morning bite might kind of be done if it's not already. So we're going to go ahead and move back up to the uh, <laughs> dam and do another drift backwards. So, all right, guys. Hey guys, so I'm back up by the uh, dam again here. I'm pulling up forward. I'm going to get to the spot where I want to go. I'm going to drop two of my baits down. Two of them need to be replaced. So when I drop the first two off, I'm going to spot lock. Then I'm going to get uh, the next baits baited up. And uh, then I'm going to sit down and try to eat. And hopefully right when I try to eat, I'm going to catch a fish. Because that's usually what happens. So all right, I'll get with you guys as soon as something goes on. All right, hopefully see you soon. There's an awful lot of fish over here. I don't know what they are. I got a fish. I got to let you go, sweetheart. All right, bye. Okay. Well, he's pulling fairly good. So once I started moving, man, he's got a little fight to him. I was just talking to my wife on the phone. 
I was gonna start moving. Oh, okay, okay. Because we haven't gotten anything. He's got a little fight to him. Nice blue. So that'll be... Well, I don't have him in the net yet. That's six fish for the day. Five blues and one channel. Another fat little guy. I believe this actually was on the newest fresh bait, so... I think I'm gonna start throwing the rest of the fresh bait on. All right, another fat little blue, man. These are fat guys. Yeah. I'll say 100%, they're healthy. They're eating in here. All right. Look at that belly. Looked like me a few years ago. All right, let's let them go. later all right cool that's fun let me go ahead and call my wife back all right guys well, let's bait up do it again let me see oh yeah oh yeah he's on same same rock too hold on oh my god oh this is, he feels halfway decent decent it's got it's it's the new bait because this is the same rod that just keeps clapping Oh man, that's what I love about these blues. They're so much fun. Good thing it's me using my old work t shirt to sit them on. Oh yeah. It's another good size. Man, like, this would be awesome to have the boys out in. I can't wait to take them out and do this. So. All right, sweetheart. Well, here, I'm going to call you whenever I leave. <laughs> All right. Love you too. Bye. Sorry about that, guys. I had to call my wife back again. And boom, we got another one. They're about cookie size cut or cookie cutter size catfish, but man, they're a ton of fun. Let me tell you, it, watching that rod bend over, especially on these Shakespeare rods, man. I think when I got them, I bought two from Bass Pro, and they were just completely sold out. And I bought the uh, last two at Walmart. Same kind, same everything. Ooh, just a nice fat little blue tons of fun great eater size right here too this one right here would be perfect all right but i got a bunch of crappie at the house no need for catfish right now all right let's throw another one on no let's fix that all right, well, I think you guys can see me. All right, guys, so that's gonna complete my catfishing video for the day. It was a fun day, man. I mean, the bites started immediately. They were really hot with the first hour, hour and a half. Slowly slowed down, but I think that has something to do with just having older baits. When I kept putting new fresh baits out, uh, they were getting hit, you know, twice as fast, which is obvious, but I only had so much to go around, so I couldn't be swapping baits out every five seconds. But I was just using what I had to work with. I tried to throw a net for a little bit. I didn't want to spend all day doing it. I didn't scan any fish at all, peer at any shad or anything. And I, I haven't been here at the river for a year or so. I wouldn't even know where to look. Usually right now I'm not catfishing because I know the spawn's going to be happening soon. And I usually don't start till June. This was just kind of on a whim. I went crappie fishing the other day. I uh, got a great crappie video out. And I want to go out and do a little bit of catfishing. So I may do some short catfishing here soon. I might have to wait till June though, just until that spawns up and over with. But uh, man, thanks for coming with me. And I love doing these videos, you know, it's nice to catfish and switch it up a bit. All right guys, so I wanna finish up this little drift right here. And uh, once we get finished up, I'm gonna head back to the ramp. So again, thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate you. I'll catch you guys later.
Bye, have a great time.